Hello friends, welcome to another video. In this video we are going to again look into how we can improve matrix visual. Uh, there was there are many times this question is posted in Power BI community forum. Uh, this was again posted recently. Let me show you what user is looking for. So here is a screenshot what a user has provided where we have a something on rows like a group and subgroup and then we have a years and then value and year over year percentage change now what user is looking for you want to see this year over year percentage change only on the last year not on all the years so only in 2020 i looked into this and uh, there are many ways to do that you can have a disconnected tables and make it work uh, in this particular um, video I'm going to show you how we can use calculation groups and how we can make it happen. The reason why I'm using calculation groups, one of the core reason is that we can apply this logic on any of the major, let's say it's a sales dollar amount or quantity or discount or freight. So the same functionality we can apply on any of the major. Also on top of that, I'm going to extend this functionality where you can actually have this variance column only show year over year percentage only show depending on whatever column you are you have on your uh, columns for example you're using year then it will only show on the last year if you're using seeing it by quarter it will only sh you will only see that on the last quarter or if you're seeing it by month you will only see uh, in the last month so this will be a, a really scalable solution any measure you can use and any granularity from calendar table you can use on columns and this will work. So let's get into Power BI and look into the solution and uh, go through step by step how we are going to make it happen. So let's get to Power BI. So here I have a simple Power BI, uh, again, same model I'm using in my videos, sales table connected to customer, geography, product and uh, date. So uh, the model is pretty straightforward. So here what I did is I created a sales is just a sum sales measure and calculated the variance and then again looking at the variance so just quickly walk through the previous sales is a measure which is same period last year. I have a video on same period last year as well like which explain why to use same uh, what same period last year provides us and then we calculate the variance dollars um, so sales minus previous sales and of course then the percentage change. So then on my matrix visual, what I did is I create country on rows and uh, year on uh, hierarchy on my columns and then sales and variance. So as you can see, um, we see this is a how out of box matrix visual work. We see the variance in every um, year and a, um, both the measures we see regardless of whether there is a value or not. So this is what we are getting. But now again, as the question is just to see the variance on the last year selected. So if uh, in this case 2021, we want to see variance only here, uh, not into the other years. And for example, if we take off 2021, so we want to see the variance only on 2020, not on 2018, 2019. Um, so let's make this solution. How are we gonna do that? So um, the, as I said, this is gonna be a calculation group solution. So we're gonna go to external tools and then tabular editor. Um, so let's add a, new calculation group let's call it show year over year you can give give any name um, whatever you like so again the name of the column in like, will be show year over year in so again just two calculation groups this is a table and this is the column and calculation items will be row in uh, rows in that column. So we're gonna have two rows here. One we will call value, and the other one we will call year over year percentage. So what we're going to do in a value, so there's nothing, no action required here. So what we're gonna say is selected measure. So whatever measure we put in the matrix, we will just return that measure. So there's no, nothing special about it. Now go into year over year, what we're going to do here is, um, uh, let me actually just return zero value zero right now, um, just to see how this would look like. So I'm applying the changes. 
let's go back to Power BI of course we need to refresh it let's make a duplicate copy of our page duplicate page and instead of using uh, um, let's remove everything here just keep the year to keep it simple and then we have a sales measure just one single measure here and then this is what we see and what we're going to do is show year over year uh, the new calculation uh, group we created the, here it is and take the show year over year column and put it before uh, year on the columns all right so we get the error um, the error we are getting is uh, it says please provide a valid calculation expression so let's go back to calculation group oh i think we added the value zero but never applied the changes so because it is it was blank so let's apply the changes okay this should work now yeah here you go so now what we are getting is we are getting value and then all the sales and then of course year over year returning the zero so this is what we are getting right now so what we need to do here is um, let's go back to our calculation group the first thing we want to find out what is the most recent visible date is in the period so whether it's a month or year or quarter so let's just start writing the measure so we are writing this measure in YO year over year calculation so this is going to be um, most recent visible date and actually make it smaller and make it bigger is equal to so that will be across whatever is selected in the calendar table we will get the max date of that calendar date all selected calendar so why are we using all selected calendar because there could be any column used from calendar table so that's why um, so that's the first thing now the second thing we're going to do here is um, get the current value which is a selected measure so whatever measure is used on the matrix visual so we get the value of that measure and then we calculate the previous value so that is the previous uh, value in this case we're getting year over year so this will be calculated calculate sorry selected my year so whatever my year is being selected it could be sales it could be quantity and do same period last year and then our calendar table all right so uh, calendar date sorry so now that give us the current value and the previous value and uh, given the context in which we are looking at this if we're looking at in 2019 year so that there will be current value will be of 2019 and previous value will be of 2018 for the same period so let's say if we are the year level uh, we will see 2019 and 2018 so if we are 2020 current value will be 2020 and previous value will be 2019 so now we need to find what the variance is of course that will be pretty simple current value minus previous value and then the percentage so variance percent so that is divide variance with previous value okay return uh, let's uh, for now return this various percent to make sure this is working and the one thing we are going to do here is because this is a percentage we're going to change the format um, the expression to a percentage all right so let's apply the changes so let's see okay here we are so now we have 2018 2019 2020 so total then percentage of 2019 percentage of 2020 so so this is 2020 percentage over 2019 the reason why these are grouped uh, differently value and percentage because i put it on the first in the hierarchy if i put it in the second in the hierarchy then we will um, see it like this so 
because there's no a uh, sale in before 2018 so that's why we're not seeing the year over year percentage here so this is what we're seeing it uh, how we're seeing it so let's put show year over year on the top again all right so so that's the one thing so now our calculation is working the one thing we want to do here is to show this percentage only when it is 2020 because that's the most selected a uh, year or if we go 2021 so only show this uh, percentage so what we're going to do there is uh, i'm back into calculation our uh, tabular editor so as i said uh, we we stored the most recent visible date so what we're going to do is we're going to check if max of calendar date so whatever year we are looking at, whatever period we are looking at, if we are looking in 2019 right now, what is the max date for 2019? That would be 31st December 2019. So what we are saying is if it is 31st 2019 is equal to the most recent visible date. So let's say we have four years, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. Most recent visible date is giving us 31st December 2021. This max is giving us the year we are looking at it is 2019 then it is 31st december 2019 so now we are comparing a 31st december 2019 is equal to the most recent visible date which in this case is uh, for example if 2021 is selected that will be 31st december 2021 so most recent visible date if this is the case then only return the uh, percentage otherwise don't return the percentage so let's apply these changes there is some error here what is the error if max of cal oh sorry i'm missing comma here apply still there is a error uh, if max calendar date is equal to max, well, oh, sorry, most recent visible date, not max. Okay, apply the changes now. Okay, so no error. So let's go back to Power BI. And here you go. So now what we have is we have 2018, 29, 2021, like all the sales, and then the year over year variance only for 2021. And the last thing what we need to do here is go to our um, subtotals and turn off the column subtotal so that we don't see this total i mean it depending on your need so now what we have here is we have 2018 all the years showing the sales but only the last year is showing um, the year over year and it also shows the name of the year so year over year 2021 so it's showing us the how does this sales let's say if i uh, don't select 2021 what i have is now the 2020 is the showing me the variance but rest of the years are sh showing up the sale now this solution is scalable in nature uh, i have already created another pages showing a quarter and month so let's go to the quarter so again as you see so i have selected 2020 21 two years so i am seeing the sales for each quarter for the selected year but my percentage is only on the quarter 420 because that's the last quarter visible similarly we go to month and i have selected only year 2021 because to, not all the years fit in there so we see the sales for all the year but only the last year month of the year which is december 2021 is showing the percentage over december 2020 so instead of showing the percent variance everywhere you are actually showing and the percentage in the last year uh, or the last period doesn't matter if you're looking at a year quarter or month but it is working even i go to the date level it will work week level it will work any granularity on calendar table having said that you can extend this functionality like if you want to say okay only show me the percentage for last three periods so wherever we put the calculation in our um, in calculation item we can make tweak in there and then show only the last three variances and then not to show for everything um, I think this functionality is really, really helpful in terms of you. You are more interested in seeing what is happening in the most recent period you have selected, the granularity you are looking at, but not showing it everywhere. 
and um, uh, I hope you find this video useful and this can help you to improve your matrix visual with small DAX tricks and you can make it happen again does not matter what measure I use uh, currently I'm using the sales here if I put the quantity uh, uh, measure if let's try that here and it should work um, let's create a measure for the quantity uh, let's call it total sales quantity which would be sum of quantity or quantity so if I use this measure here now it, the calculation would work as expected so if we go remove this add the sales quantity here you go so now the same calculation and same everything is working for any measure I'm using so now I have the option um, to show variance on the doesn't matter what granularity I'm using at the same time does not matter what measure I'm looking at um, let me know what do you think about this video I hope it is helpful do subscribe my channel until next video have a good day bye for now thanks for watching thank you